The first part of this trip was incredible. We saw Tel Aviv, we walked where Jesus walked, but any trip to Israel inevitably leads here, to Jerusalem, the holiest city in the world. Are you going to the old city, though? Are you guys coming in? Oh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty special, huh? The Ohio Stank, even in the Holy Land, much respect to the Buckeyes. So, what's making this special for me? Today is my birthday, too. You'll always remember this birthday. So, you're a Gemini. I'm a Gemini. I'm a Gemini, June 5. Right four people. The <laughs> <laughs> We're towards the highlight of this location where Jesus was nailed to the cross. The crucifixion, the burial, and the resurrection, all of them took place right here. So this is why this is the most holy place in the whole world. This is one of the most moving spots. Yeah. Guys, this is an amazing spiritual place. You've been baptized this week. Just breathe it in. It's pretty impressive. Guys, That's the most holy place, place to me. Where Christ me. was buried Just and rose up. After leaving the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, we made our way toward the Western Wall the last remnant of the ancient temple where Jews have come to pray for centuries. What do you say, Uncle Bruce? What a blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. Oh, all right. This is a great moment for us to touch the wall with it, whatever special wish you might have. You see all the little notes that, like this. Yeah. Just come have a private moment yeah. at the wall. in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Come on, we'll go, guys. Not far from the wall is the city of David, the birthplace of Jerusalem, now the site of an active archaeological dig. A little cool down here. They're still building. They're refurbishing. Andre, have you been here before? Four times now. Wow. Yeah. Every time I come down here, it's cool watching the refurbishment going on. So it's cool that it like looks different every yeah. time you see it. Oh, <laughs> you're not kidding. It's just active. There's people underneath us actually Everything working. Everything is going on around here. This is great. Andre Tippett recorded 100 sacks as a Patriots outside linebacker. But the biggest play of his life came off the field. So you converted, right, to Judaism? Yes. Was that, how many years ago was that? Oh, 24, 24 years ago, 25 years ago. It was really my wife and I deciding we're gonna get married. Um, right away when she and I started dating, I knew the importance of Judaism to her and we took one of the uh, bye weeks in 93 and got married out in Vegas. That's and, amazing. Um, but I was the one who everybody thinks, oh my God, you know, she must be a strong woman to make you change your religion. And I'm like, yes, yeah, she's that, a strong woman, yeah, but she's also. She's a strong woman, but I'm <laughs> like, I wanted our household to be one religion. And uh, I started looking into conversion. Uh, once I went through the process of studying, studied for six months, then studied, you know, another six months with the rabbi, uh, we made the date, and then you had to have three witnesses couldn't be family related. So I got two of my very close friends and I asked Robert Kraft, would he 
uh, be a witness for me when I went to the mikvah for my conversion and, and, and everything, and uh, he accepted. And it was uh, it was probably the happiest day of my life, uh, and it was cool. It was I did cool. not know he was there. Yes, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Think somebody lost a hat? Uh oh. No, that's actually from the city of David. I know. They found it while they were digging. <laughs>